one of the biggest mistakes that I see creators making is not having a really good link in bio. On all of these platforms, they give you the ability to put like a literal link in your bio. And like on Instagram or TikTok, it literally sits at the top of your profile and people can click it. And back in the day, back in the day in the marketing world, it was kind of frowned upon to put like too many things in your link in bio because that cut down on conversion rates and blah, 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 you know, all the marketing nerd talk. But I'm here to tell you as a creator, you need multiple things in your link in bio to actually make it convert to affiliate sales, to sales of your own stuff, to follows on other platforms, to people getting on your email list, like whatever you're trying to convert to, you need a solid link in bio. So I want to give you nine things that I think every single creator, whether you're creating on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, do not care. Okay. Every single creator needs in their link in bio. And honestly, full disclosure here, this video is sponsored by campsite.bio, which is my personal favorite platform to actually build out your link in bio system. Like Legitimately, I've been using campsite.bio for like a year or more now, and it continues to blow my freaking mind because it makes getting my content and getting my sales stuff out in front of my people so flippin' easy. I'll talk more about campsite.bio in just un momento, but let's get started on these nine things. Also, if you hear random freaking noises, random noises, there is um a, a, a gaggle, a uh, clan, a group, of, I don't know what you call a group of tractors, a gaggle of tractors, I don't know, whatever. There's a bunch of tractors outside of my window. Now, these tractors were not put here by myself or anyone I know. I think they're state workers, and they chose this moment to <laughs> hang out outside of my office. So if you hear that, sorry. Also, those said tractors are pissing my dog off. So uh, she's barking constantly. All right, first things first on this list of nine things, and this one is really easy. And probably the thing I would say most people actually do do, do do, <laughs> in their link in bio, and that is links to your other socials. So we all know it's almost impossible to grow on Instagram right now because Instagram is a turd face. But if you're like me, you still want to grow on Instagram because you're nurturing people on that platform in stories, blah, blah, blah. But you might be doing your growth strategy somewhere else like YouTube or TikTok and sending them over to Instagram. Well, listen up, Buttercup. If you don't have links to Instagram or your other platforms that you're trying to grow on your link in bio, it doesn't matter how somebody finds you, they're not gonna find where you want them to go. This is obviously gonna be different for everybody, but you could have like Twitter, YouTube, you know, TikTok, whatever, in this like other links section in your link in bio. And that way, if someone finds you on one platform, but chooses to follow you on another, or wants to find you on another, it's super freaking easy for them. On my link in bio, I actually put this at the very top. There's just like social links at the very top. It makes it really easy. This next thing every creator needs in their link in bio is not something that I see everybody and their mama doing, but should see everybody and their mama doing, and that is links to your latest content. This is as easy as saying like, listen to my latest podcast episode and having a button in your link in bio that takes them to the Apple podcast player or Spotify or whatever, or watch my latest YouTube video and having that button link over to your YouTube channel. Or if you're on campsite.bio and have access to this really freaking cool feature, you can actually embed things like your YouTube feed or your podcast feed inside the link in bio. Ah, okay, this is seriously one of my favorite things that campsite.bio does. And I'm gonna show you this and go ahead and go into the ad spot for campsite. We literally have six other things you need in your bio that I can promise you, you've not thought of most of them. So make sure even if this little tip I'm gonna show you blows your freaking mind that you don't leave yet, okay? Okay, so on campsite.bio, they have a feature where if I go to like say, hey, listen to my latest podcast episode, it will ask me if I want to embed the player right there in the link in bio, or if I just want it to link off to wherever I'm linking it to. And why would you not hit yes? Yes, of course, campsite.bio, embed it on the page, please. That makes it easier for everybody involved. And then the same thing with YouTube. I can literally put in my YouTube feed so that it auto refreshes every single time I have new content here on YouTube. It will literally like 
move the newest video up to the top, move the next ones down, and so on and so forth, depending on what I have the settings as. Now, let me pause right here and tell you that you can absolutely get $10 off of any pro plan with my link. I'll put that in the description below when you sign up for campsite.bio, but they are very soon releasing a very similar feature for your Instagram feed. So let's say you have this link in bio on TikTok and like the most of the people who are seeing this link in bio <laughs> are from TikTok. Super soon, you'll be able to embed your Instagram feed inside of your bio page so that they can look at that and be like, oh my gosh, I have to go follow this person on Instagram. Thus furthering your Instagram growth like we talked about a second ago. Campsite.bio has weekly insights emails, has tons of analytics that are super freaking helpful for you to see what people are clicking on, what people are going to, so you can make decisions on like what needs to stay in your bio or go or what you should really put more focus on. I love that you can nerd out in the background on analytics and it's so custom customizable that it makes my ex designer heart super freaking happy. See the problem with a lot of these bio companies like the the places that let you like make a bio like this is that they're not very customizable. So for years I was creating my own page on my website and putting my own links and stuff because I wanted it to look the way I wanted it to look. But when I found campsite.bio the features and the customization like blew my mind and I have never done that since. I have just used campsite.bio. There are seriously so many freaking awesome features of this platform, including the fact that you can have multiple links and bios within one account. So if you wanna have a different link in bio for TikTok than you have for Instagram or whatever, you can totally do that. So reminder, you can sign up for campsite.bio today with the link in the description below and get $10 off any pro plan, but they also have a really awesome free plan. So there's no excuse not to go sign up. Okay, thank you Campsite for sponsoring this video and also I will continue to bring them up throughout the entire video because everything we're going to talk about they have awesome features for. All right, so back to the list. We talked about other social links. We talked about your most recent content. The third thing that every creator needs in their link in bio are one-off affiliate links. Yo, yo. I'm sitting here telling you about campsite.bio. I talk about ClickUp. I talk about Epidemic Sound. I talk about like all of these things, right? Sometimes I'm doing content specific to these platforms and I want to make sure that the link in my bio reflects my affiliate link to those platforms so that when you see my content where I'm talking specifically about something, you can easily go to my link in bio and sign up for the thing. So I did a TikTok and a reel once about campsite.bio that were not sponsored, just me like, oh my gosh, can you believe that this thing d does this? Cause I'm, I'm a nerd and it's fun. And I was not gonna create these pieces of content without then having like one of the first links in my bio be like, try campsite.bio now. And this is something I see so many creators and influencers not doing. I see so many creators and influencers being like, oh my gosh, look at the new things you can do with the iPhone 14. Look how cool. But then you go to their profile and they don't have links. They don't have affiliate links. They don't have affiliate links to the iPhone 14. They don't have affiliate links to the apps they're talking to you about. Put some one-off affiliate links in your profile when your content is new and fresh about that thing. Okay, on that same note, on that same note, we've got number four, which is affiliate libraries. The, so this would be things like like to know it or the Amazon influencer store if you have access to that. These are things where you're constantly updating your affiliate links into sections or categories or whatever that people who are following you might be interested in. If you're a fashion blogger and you're constantly like look at this cool shirt you can clearly tell I'm not a fashion blogger because this is a local t-shirt but you know anyway if you were to be a fashion blogger and you were like, look at this cool shirt, look, and then tomorrow it's like, look at these cool jeans, and you link everything with like to know it, you need to make sure the link to your like to know it is in your link in bio. I literally have a link at the very bottom of my campsite.bio that says visit my Amazon store. That way I constantly have an evergreen link in my link in bio that gets people to go to my Amazon store if I'm mentioning something. So if I'm like on Instagram stories and I'm talking about this cool tripod or whatever, and I, you know, I'm just talking away, of course I can link it on my stories, but I can also be like, hey, 
The link is in my bio under my shop, my Amazon store. And then people can go to the Amazon store and they not only find the tripod that I talked about, but they can also find all of the other goodies that I recommend. People will shop your Amazon stores because they look at you as an expert or as an influence in whatever category you're in. So they're going to be like, oh, I wonder what Jessica uses to film her videos. Let me go check. What is the microphone that Jessica recommended? I forget, but let me go to her Amazon store and check. What is that case that she has on her iPhone? Let me go to her Amazon store and see if it's there. So people literally naturally do this. And if you are not putting the those libraries in your link in bio, you're missing out on sales. All right, this next one is muy importante. Okay, muy importante. This could be a video all on its own because some of you may not even have the thing you need to have to have this in the link in the bio, and we need to talk about that. But number five is freebies to build your email list. You absolutely, as an influencer, as a creator, as whatever you call yourself, should be building an email list. The reason, well, the reason is that you don't own YouTube, you don't own TikTok, you don't own Instagram, and they could ban your account, they could take you down, they could remove your stuff, and then you have no way of getting in touch with the perfectly cultivated audience that you've worked so hard to build unless you have an email list. So you really need an email list and a big way to grow an email list is with freebies and free things that people can download or get when they sign up to your email list. So in your link in bio, you need to have free things for them to sign up for. In my link in bio, I have grabbed the free digital product blueprint. This is a freebie where I like walk you through what digital products are, what you can create for them and blah, blah, blah. And it's free to you and you sign up for it and then you get on my email list. And I have that one in my profile because I talk about digital products a lot and that is something that a lot of people want to know more about. So it is there. When they click it, they actually go to my opt-in page for that on my website, but they don't have to. That's just because that's the way I did it. You can absolutely embed an opt-in form straight onto your campsite.bio and connect it to whatever email marketing service you use. So I'm going to go ahead and do that because either that wasn't a feature when I put this link in there or I didn't know it was a feature and I need to do this ASAP. So when you're on campsite.bio, you just go to explore links and then opt-in form and you can do like email or SMS. So if you were collecting phone numbers, you can do that. I'm gonna do email and I'm gonna choose my destination to be ConvertKit. Now it says that I haven't set up ConvertKit, so I've gotta go do that. Okay, so now that is done and since it is hooked, I just select what form I want them to join under. So I'm gonna go ahead and select opt-in and digital product blueprint and do finish initial setup. Then I can just put in the title here, grab the, grab, or let's just do free digital product blueprint. And then I can add an image if I want to, change the button text, change what it says after they sign up, add whatever fields I wanna to add to the form, and then I just have to turn this on. Now, when I click it, it will just drop down and be like, get it now, girl, get it now. And then I click it and it goes back. How freaking cool. Once they fill that out, it automatically sends them into my ConvertKit form. So ConvertKit handles the rest from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there and go down through here and delete this one because I don't need it anymore. All right, we're rounding out the list. We're at number six, and that is links to your own physical products. Now listen, that sounds smart. Like, that sounds like duh, right? But the amount of times that I have seen an influencer talk about something that they're launching, like the new t-shirts or new sweatshirts or like this thing, and then me try and find the link and then not have it in their link in bio is a lot. So link to your stuff. Like if you have physical products, link to them in your link in bio, because I can guarantee even after your launch that somebody is gonna see old content or see you wearing it or whatever and wanna know how they can buy it. And on that same note, you gotta link to your own digital products and courses too. Now, obviously with either of these last two options, you can link things individually, you can link uh, like a whole shop, you can kind of decide what you wanna do here. For instance, in my link in bio, I have like a swipey 
thing where there's a bunch of images that show different like small offers that I have like the crash course toolkit or my course about ClickUp or when my courses create convert grow or the YouTube starter toolkit it's literally a swipeable thing and then when they click on that image it'll take them to that sales page so you can absolutely do them individually like this or you can have a link somewhere in your bio like I do that says shop my courses and toolkits or shop my courses and products or whatever the scenario is that link on my link in bio goes to my shop page on my website where they can find everything they could possibly want to buy anyway but you have to promote it y'all okay number eight and nine are obvious but not obvious because I see them all the time number eight a link to your main website with more information about you or about whatever. So if I find somebody on TikTok who's doing like, who's like a fitness influencer, and I'm like, oh, like I wanna know what this person is about, and I go on their LinkedIn bio, and there's no way for me to get to their website, and all they have on their LinkedIn bio is like other socials, that's really freaking frustrating, and they're probably losing business because I can't get to their website to figure out more about them. No matter what type of creator or influencer you are, there's likely some type of external website that you can send people to to get them to know more about you. Maybe it's not a website, maybe it's just a page you've created on like Squarespace that's like, hey, this is who I am, this is what I do, and you know, I'd love to have you come hang out with me over here, such and such, right? But have some kind of link to your main website if you have one that allows them to like further this relationship in some way. And last but not least, a contact link. This is good for a lot of reasons. As an influencer, there are people, there are brands, there are followers, there are people who want to like send you fan mail. So if you have like your contact information on a link in your bio, then they can easily find that and they're not having to like email you or DM you and be like, what is your mailing address or whatever the scenario is. And because a big part of being a creator slash influencer is that brands will send you things to review or whatever, um, send you things as like a PR package, you want this to be really easily accessible. Your followers likely want to get in touch with you in some way, shape or form. And maybe they don't know the best way to do that. I can't get to all of my Instagram DMs. Want to chat? Email me. That could be a really great way to connect. And as a creator and as an influencer, the bigger you grow, the more brands are going to want to work with you. They're going to want to work with you in a paid relationship. They're going to want to get in touch with you to work with you in some other way, but they need to be able to contact you. You need to have your contact information very easily, readily available on your link in bio so that these opportunities don't pass you by, so that podcast interviews don't pass you by, so that the ability to work with a brand doesn't pass you by, so that the ability to be an affiliate for some new thing doesn't pass you by. And if you don't want those things, I would highly question whether you want to be a creator or an influencer. All right, so I fully expect to see all your um, fun links in bio, especially if you're using campsite.bio. I'd love to see it. Share it on Instagram and like tag me, okay? I'd love to see them, for real. I'm being I'm being for realsies. And if you want to try out campsite.bio, do not forget that the link is in my description of this video and you can get $10 off when you sign up for the pro account. If you're a creator who's like, oh my gosh, I want to make more money. I want to make a full-time living from creating content on the internet, from being an influencer, whatever you want to call yourself, go watch this video here. I teach you how to make a million dollars a year with a specific business plan as a creator. And it's a fun one. All right. Until next time, bye y'all.